Inside this video right here, I'm gonna tell you everything that I know about how to best prepare for EMT school. Make sure to watch this video to the end and believe me, you will have such an easier time in EMT school, but you gotta watch right now. Hey everyone, it's the Paramedic Coach here. I'm back at you with a brand new video. And what we're talking about today is how to best prepare for EMT school. Real quick, do me a solid, smack that subscribe button down below, tap the notification bell. I put out videos multiple times a week on everything you gotta know about EMS. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned to this channel. Also, annihilate and hit that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm so more EMS students around the world can see this content so they can become great and pass their exams and become EMS providers. Now, without further ado, real quick, you're gonna wanna stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna give you my bonus tip like I always do at the end, so stay tuned to the end of this one. But before that, I got three tips for you and the bonus. How to best prepare for EMT school. If you follow me here, and you follow these steps, EMT school for you will be so much easier and no one's talking about this. So here we go. Number one, the first thing I want you to go in with, try to get an awareness of before you go in, is medical terminology. Now, the reason is medical terminology, the language of medicine, it's all basically like a brand new language, okay? So for example, if I say front, that's anterior. If I say back, that's posterior. If I say above or up here, that's superior. If I say below or down here, that's inferior, right? So that's just a brief overview of some of the basics of medical terminology. But literally, you just got a quick tip there, knowing that's gonna help you out, okay? So medical terminology and understanding that would be the first thing that I would study before you show up on day one of EMT class. Now the second point where I find so many EMT students mess up or fall behind, and this leads to them failing out of EMT school, I don't, know, I don't want that to happen to you, is understanding heart blood flow. And here's why. If you don't understand heart blood flow, you can't give medications. You can't do your job. You as an EMT need to understand heart blood flow to better understand how to assess and understand what's going on when you're patient when they're having certain types of emergencies, right? It's one of the cornerstones of becoming an EMT. So I highly recommend that you go over and study heart blood flow before you get into class and understand it. You're gonna notice, and this is be this is a God honest truth. When they go over heart blood flow in class, you're gonna look around at your fellow students, and you're gonna see that everyone's confused. And some people are gonna fall behind just on that. So there's no reason for you to do that if you study it now. Okay, now the third thing that I believe is very, very crucial. This is more of a general thing, but Hang with me because it makes a lot of sense. I, want you, I don't want you just to be good. I want you to be great. The third thing here is understanding the most common medical emergencies and traumatic emergencies before you enter school. Now, for example, understanding that an asthma patient, an anaphylaxis patient, a COPD patient, they all wheeze. So that, that's a problem they're having, a respiratory emergency with their lungs. In that case, we need to use medicines to open their lungs up. Understanding that you know, heart failure is we, we have fluid rising in the lungs. We get that fluid back to where it belongs. We don't want them to drown, right, in their own blood. Right. Simple things like that. Under, understanding that you know, when we give aspirin to a patient, that's helping the clot that's inside them not get worse. Stuff like that, 
understanding these medical emergencies, different scenarios. If you have an awareness of that before you go in, you are going to do incredibly well, incredibly well, because this is where people mess up. Now, hang with me on this one. It's so, so important. The reason why I give tip number three, and a lot of people don't, or maybe they say, ah, oh, don't worry about that, you're wondering in class. I disagree with that, and here's why. I want you to get a head start on your schooling. You know why? EMT school is one of the most accelerated programs, accelerated classes that you'll ever, ever take in your life. Now, here's why. Most of the time, the program's only three months long, and you're trying to what do you put a fire hose of information into a short amount of time? And you're expected to go out there and then, okay, now you are part of the 911 system. It happens fast. And this is why, you know, you, you'll have classes out there that have, let's say, 80 people. And then you end up with maybe 20 people graduate and only 10 of them or 15 of them actually get certified and licensed and actually work. Now, well, I'm not here to play a blame game. What I'm here to do is say, don't worry about other people. I'm, well, I'm talking to you right now, the person who watches this video. If I can help you, and there's probably more than one person who watches this video, you know, I hope, right? Then we can together decrease failure rates. So now I'm going to give you my bonus tip for this video. Everyone, you made it to the bonus section. Comment hashtag bonus down below. If you made it to the bonus, congrats on that. I'm going to give you a resource right now. It's going to help you out tremendously getting ready for EMT school. Now, look, everybody out there, when you go to EMT school, you're going to get a giant textbook about this big. Now, I don't know about you, but I cannot read this from front to back. I can't. I personally learn better by listening and watching videos. That's how I learn. Maybe you do too, and maybe that's why you got here and came across this video. Now, here's what I can tell you, my friends, is I've put together a resource for you that is incredibly, incredibly valuable, but also incredibly, incredibly affordable for anybody out there and gives you the exact information that you're looking for all in one place so you don't have to be like me when I was 19 going to EMT school and, and then 20 years old going to paramedic school, trying to scour the internet, trying to find all this information to best prepare me for EMT school. You see, there's no real prerequisite for EMT school. You just show up. And this is why I believe that failure rates are so high in EMT class. Well, I've designed something that is going to change that and already has helped change that. It's called my video study course. So here's what I want you to do right now. If you're somebody out there that wants to become the best EMT possible, I'm going to give you my resource here. It's my video study course, and I'm gonna give you a lifetime access to the course. The link is down below in the description. It says learn more. It's prepareforems.com. You're gonna get access to 180 plus videos of content plus our private community group. Now, that giant textbook I had earlier, it's gonna be a lot more expensive than that program is and you're actually gonna use a video study course because it includes on-the-job tips, it includes national registry prep, it includes all the EMS medications, it includes tips to help you get better learning, you know those meds like pills, prescription medications, learning all of that as well. It gives you all the EMT school prep, and by the way, the program actually, with one payment, gives you a lifetime access from pre-EMT all the way to paramedic school. It's my life's work, my friends. My goal with this, and you know, put some students here on the screen here at the end that have gone through the program, their results, you click down below and check it all out. If you take action, you simply go through the EMT sections in the course. Now, before you enter school, watch them once, take some notes, watch them twice. It's gonna do two major things. Number one, is you're gonna get your brain back into school mode because probably you've been out of school mode for a while. Number two is you are going to also 
Get an awareness level of these core concepts of EMT school before you go in. So you are not one of the ones that fails out because you're not going to get hit by that acceleration. My friends, I cannot recommend this enough. This is why I, I sat down here today and I want to put out this video for you as soon as I could. Much love to all of you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the video study course down below. Let's tackle this and I look forward to helping you throughout your entire journey here in EMS. I'll see you there. Take care. Don't waste any time. Don't, don't be hesitant and just do it because I know this program works. And I know it's, it got me to where I was, where it's been a year without school from EMT to, hey, I passed my test in 70 questions. Like, go for it. You could do it. Like, do not hesitate and don't waste any time. People that don't know you, they need to, they need this program. This program is not a, a choice. To me, this program is a happy. If you're on the fence and you're looking for a different way to, to learn and absorb the content um, in a, in a non-threatening way, um, in, a, in a caring way, then I would absolutely recommend the program.